Previously on Slime Rancher. What an upgrade! What? What a ripoff! Gather this up while I'm here. While I'm standing here, I'm gonna give it to these weird slime over here. Take your mangoes and eat them. Hey, you! Get back in there. Alright? Not playing with you. Gimme, 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 gimme! Potted cactus, I don't want you. Here I come, Gordo. I'm gonna feed your face, gonna feed your face, gonna feed your face all over the place. I'm gonna get this, and then I'm gonna go jump down into this little cranny right here. Go, 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 go. Down into the cranny, go. And badoosh. Ha ha! This is something else that I noticed that I never noticed before, uh, is that their mouth opens in preparation for the food. Like, when you look away, it closes. And they're like, nah, food. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? I am not even gonna ask. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Slime Rancher. So today is going to be another short episode because I only want to take care of two things. The first one is that I want to upgrade the docks, which I hope is going to be less anticlimactic than the lab upgrade because that was pretty disappointing. And the second thing I want to do is check out the secret vaults uh, because Hobson left behind some secrets for me to find and I swear I'm going to find them. Uh, so I'm going to jump into the star mail so we can read the star mail that's about the vaults and find out what I can about them before I go hunting. Uh, and you know full disclosure I actually found <laughs> the vault while I was just exploring and um, I'm just going to show them to you and then I'm actually going to enter them because I didn't enter them when I found them I was just like oh it must be a vault ooh uh, but first let's head to the docks and see what that looks like so that we can compare the before and after with the upgrade alright here we are the wonderful docks which I love um, <laughs> fair warning, it's probably going to slow down, so I'm going to go very slowly so that I'm not stuttering all over the place because I decided to put way more puddle slime down here than is necessary. Uh, but this is what I've got going on down here. Okay, as you can see, I've got all my little puddle slimes. Hi, babies. Hello. And, you know, these are obviously not for plort uh, production. This is just so that they can have fun and have a family and have friends and play with their little rubber ducky, uh, which I love. So whenever I find more puddle slime, I just drop them in here. So I have no idea how many I have in here. I think it looks like there's less than there actually is, uh, but they're not going to produce plorts because they only produce plorts if they're four or less. If there's any more than that, they get embarrassed, uh, which is why you can see that they have a little pink blush because they're blushing because they're like, I don't want to make plorts around the other ones. Well, you don't have to. You can just enjoy life. Uh, and then I have the incinerator here with my fire slime. And I really like the way that looks like coming down here, just having like the fire here and then having all of the, the mosaic uh, slime behind it. So it's like crystalline and sparkly and sprinkly. And I also like having this directly across from the water because, you know, the balance of the elements is kind of my thing. Hey, sweeties, I, I don't have anything to feed. You know what? I'll feed you this. I wasn't going to, but since I'm here, Take! Take! Eat it all! Alright, so this is what the docks looks like. Um, again, we've got the nets over here, which uh, are great because you can actually stick, you know, a slime to them if you shoot them at them. But they only stay up there temporarily. Then here is my um, plort market, my little miniature one for when I want to gather the plorts down here because I'm lazy and don't want to go all the way back up <laughs> to do it at the main interface. So I can just take these and just go over here as I've already shown you guys. I love these gadgets. Um, you know, even though the lab upgrade kind of sucked, the gadgets that I can produce at the lab are awesome. Uh, so this is what I've got going on down here. This is just for the mosaics just because it's pretty and I feel like this looks really nice, especially at night looking out over the water so that's why i chose to have like the fire and the uh water and the basically um ice kind of here you know because it's the mosaics and they're sparkly and then this is the docks down here that it goes out 
all the way here and then there's just one of the interfaces that I already read and then there's really nothing kind of around this corner it's just a little space all right so we've seen the docks now let's head back and do the upgrade and compare see what it changes hopefully it will change something special all right so we are back and we're going to go to the rewards club but first i'm going to go to the star mail and i'm going to read hobson's last message here because this is the message that is about the vaults. Hello Beatrix, I just wanted to say thanks for taking care of the old ranch. I know I left it in a bit of a sorry state and from what I hear it's looking mighty fine these days. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's in such good hands. As a little thank you, I've activated three secret vaults that I built years ago to stash a small fortune of mine. I had always planned on using it as walking around money in the great beyond, but I ain't needing for that no more. But you know me, I like a good adventure. I'm not telling where the vaults are located go explore Hops. H so uh, I did go explore like I said and I found them so we're gonna go and find them now like it says there are three of them so I'm gonna show you where all three of them are and I'm also going to enter them for the first time along with you guys so you can see what's in them for the first time just like I will and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the upgrade so let's head on in here. Uh, so I've got the dock upgrade here. I haven't done any decorating or any decor or anything yet, uh, cause I won't be, but I wanna get this upgrade. So let's go ahead and point this. Ha ha. Oh, I get a new warp uh, depot for the, okay, that's great. Um, and more nonsense. Uh, okay, so that's done. Let's go see what it did. Let's go see what it did. Boo boo ba doo 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 doo. Around the corner I go. Doo -loo 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 -loo. Ha, ah, here we go. Here we go. What? Okay. Oh, let's check this out. Ah, okay, so we've got some pillars here. Hi guys. We've got pillars. Okay, that does look nice. Um, again, as with all of the other upgrades, it kind of put these uh, walking sort of planks. Um, oh, nice. We got a little bit of a statue. Not a little bit of one. It, it is one. It is a statue. Uh, none of this looks different. No, there's a statue over there now. Okay. And a little light. That wasn't there before. All right. Oh, and then we've got steps leading down. Oh, now this is nice. This is what I'm talking about in terms of upgrades, Mama Jams. Look at this. Oh, oh, this is just a lovely little area. I could just come in and ruminate. <gasps> oh, this reminds me of the pier in Manhattan. How lovely. Oh, I like this. Okay, I want to say dock upgrade for the win. Definitely a win. Okay, definitely not like the lab upgrade, which was just nothing and I will continue to harp on that. Uh, but this is good, I like this. Even though it's just aesthetic, it's lovely. Did anything happen around this corner? No? Okay, but you know what? This is more than enough. I'm very happy with this. So let me see, can I put gadgets or anything over here? No, this is just, this is just for beautification and prettifying, and uh, I'm all about the prettifying, so that, that's cool. All right, get out of gadget mode, please. Okay, so that's great, uh, so that's the, Upgrade for the docks. I definitely think it's worth the 150,000 monies that I farm to get it. But now we're gonna head out to the vaults and we're gonna head out to the first one, which if I recall was on uh, a little island. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to get to that if I can remember. Let's go to the, let's go to the map. All right, so I believe I remember that the first one was on this island over here. Uh, so we're going to head to this one. I'm going to show you how to get to this island. It's very simple. And then we're going to go to the first uh, vault. But before I do that, I'm going to gather some stuff because I don't know what's in there. I might need things. And in case you're wondering, no, your eyes do not deceive you. There are hunter slime in here. And that's because this is where I keep my hunter slime. I wanted them to be able to roam free and hunt and do what hunter slime do. Uh, so... You know, you can't see all of them because they're hiding very, very well. They're all nicely camouflaged. But I just have a bunch of them in here in the overgrowth because there are so many hen hens. And it's kind of a double benefit, you know, because the hunters get all of the food supply that they need. 
And they also help with the population control, you know, so it's a win-win. But really just a win-win for the hunters, like, <laughs> not for the hens. Sorry, guys. All right, so here we go. So this is the way that I'm going to go when you come into the overgrowth. I'm just going to go straight through here. I think I'm going to go the right way. This is very simple. Not hard at all. They come down here where you can find lots of tabby slime if you want them. If you want them, you got them. Let me get this pogo fruit too. All right, get some hen hen. Give me all the fruit. Something, something, pooty poot. All right, and then we just head on over here to this portal. So now, as you can see, we are over here on the island. Hoo -hoo. So I'm pretty sure I recall the first vault that I found being all the way up there, because I found it when I was doing my high ground explorations. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Uh, this was also the first place that I ever found a puddle slime, so that was nice. But we don't have time to explore this nonsense. Maybe I'll explore it in another episode. For now, I just want to head on high to get where I need to get on. Whoop. All right. Up there is where I need to be. So I'm going to go woof. Hi guys, you're all so pretty. I love you. I love all of you. Oh, is that a heartbeat? <laughs> Don't mind if I deet. Here we go. Jump over here. So basically just find your way to the highest point. That's all you've got to do. Um, now when you go through here, not do 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 I'm pretty sure I remember there being a Gordo or something up here. Maybe not, but either way, you're not done. See, there's the back of the vault. So, let's head on up. Go, 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 go. Ew! And here I am at the first one. Clinkity clink, smock the smink. Let's jump in. Oh, oh, I didn't know I was gonna need a slime key. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I only have two. That changes things. I did not realize that. Because I, I didn't look this up. I don't like looking up things uh, for games. I like just finding them myself. And I just found these myself, but I didn't go in. So I had no idea that I required slime keys. So <laughs> guess I'm going to have to find a third. But in the meantime, let's use this. And also, I apologize uh, if you can hear nonsense in the background. They're like mowing and doing landscapey stuff. Ooh. This is spooky. Hello? Hello, anyone there? What's going on here? I'm so nervous. Oh. Okay. Scrooge McDuck, eat your heart out. Oh, what's down there? I can't open the purple pods yet. Can't do it. Oh, there's two though. Sweet. Oh, there's three. Is there another one over here to make it an even four? Yes, there is. Because everybody likes symmetry. All right, I guess I'm gonna open this bad boy. Activate. What? What the? Oh, is this like a trap? Ha ha, I've come prepared. Eat. Boo 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 doo 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 doo. I'm gonna feed you all until you're happy, and then you won't want to kill me. Uh oh, pretty clever, Hobson Twilligers, but you're messing with Lady Milligers, and you will not best me in any way, shape, or form in any time or space. All right, so is that it? Is that it? Can I do this again? Oh, it like opened that. I see what it did. Who is still snapping my butt? Stop it. I don't know why you disappeared, but whatevs. <gasps> oh, treasure pods indeed. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait then until I get, what is this plant? I want this mushroom in my life. All right. Um, 
Okay, so I, I will come back to this one when I can unlock these, and hopefully that'll be tons of goodies. Oh, that's great. Like a platformer, let's use this mushroom to get back up here and go. Whip! Back home ado, let's look for vault number two. So there was one that was uh, over in the moss blanket, and then there was one that is over, I think in that um, thing over here on this island, uh, to the right, that's a part of the indigo quarry. Uh, so what I'm gonna do though, I need to figure out where I'm missing like a third slime key because I could have sworn I got all of them. But let's head to the moss blanket first and check that one out. All right, so here I am in the moss blanket and I'm just gonna show you the area that I'm in here. Um, I feel like this is a really good landmark. So it's when you snake all the way around the far northwestern edge of the moss blanket. It's where you have all the hunter largo that wanna eat your face. Um, and as you can see also in the upper left corner here, as far as the moss blanket's concerned, I have both of the available slime keys. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna get that third slime key, but this is where this is. Okay, so you wanna get to this point where you're at the bridge and then you go across. All right. And then when you come around this corner, bada bing, bada boom, slime badoom. I almost was not paying attention to my energy and would have died right there. But here is vault number two. It's in the most blanket. Okay, so let's head into this one and see what's in store. Ah, okay. Hello, Mossy Blanket. Oh, okay. Let's not go down there. Ah, here we go. I love these gates. Oh, this one's gorgeous. I love water, but I love the elements and I love- oh, Hi! Hey, baby doll. Boop. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's get rid of that. Is that? Go oh my God. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 don't die. Stop it. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Stop. Oh God. Oh, stop. Please stop. Please stop falling. Please stop. Oh God. No. Oh, I didn't know. I thought like they were just gonna stay because they're in here. Oh my God. Oh, get, cut. Oh. You stupidos. You stupidos. What are you going down there and kill yourselves? You don't know what you're doing. You're, you're making me miss my plots. I could have had more good. Yes, you dumbasses. All right. That was my fault. I, I didn't react quickly enough because I did not realize that they would not just sit there. Why would I have thought that that would be what they would do? I don't know. But at least I got some, so here we go. Dun 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 All right, so I'm, I have to be vigilant. I doubt that there are more in here. That's clever though, to have like, like right there so that, um, like, as far as design, so that it's like, oh, you better act fast, because if you don't, they're all gonna commit gold suicide for some ex inexplicable reason. Okay, so what else is in here? Man, I should have been going faster, but whatever. What's up here? Oh, okay, more of the purple treasure pods. All right, so I guess that's why it's taken so long to be able to unlock them, that the purple ones um, are just kind of an end game treasure pod, you know? So that makes more sense now, because I was like, why is it taking so long for me to be able to unlock those? Oh, and then there's more there. Oh, that's cool. I got all the gold ports. I'm not gonna spend them now though. I'm gonna save them. Oh, freaking frack of the freaking fruk. I wish I'd known. I wish I'd known. Oh, this is lovely though. I'm just gonna dip down here for a second and hope to God I can get back up. Why did I do that? 
Oh my god! I just wanted to take a look. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Wow. Well, I guess I'll keep that in as a cautionary tale. Don't try to float down there to see what's going on, because you're probably gonna fucking die. So, now I'm gonna have to go to the third one, and I just took the shortcut that you have at the ranch when you go through the grotto, and what you wanna do is just go right past the water here, and then onto the bridge, and then turn to your left. And now across from there, you'll see that there's like a little cave, and I believe this is the only way to get into that cave, I don't remember, but this is where I think I found one of the Gordos, and if not, then I have no idea where the other one was. So let's just go ahead and jump across. Nope. Oh, there's also, I think um, if I go up high, you can like jump down here too, but I just went across. So let's see if this is where, oh, I didn't, bur okay. I guess I didn't come back and get him. I didn't realize that. But luckily I brought uh, Oka Oka cause I'm pretty sure that's his favorite. Which means I'm not gonna need as many. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh, that's insane, though. That only works in comic books. What is that achievement? Stand inside a rad aura for 50. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. All right, let's try this again with more feeling. Whee! Hi, rads. I don't need any of you. Oh, but I do need that. And I also. Need you to come your nips. Splody, explodey. There you go, dee. All right, so I have officially gotten the last key. So let's head on over to the island and unlock the third vault. So now that we've gone in there, I believe the portal is like at the end of this, like around the corner. Hi guys, come on. Let's, uh, you know, that was very rude. I was about to take him in case I need to feed him to somebody else. All right, and then I think it's, the, oh God. Yeah, I think it's down here. What? Oh yeah, okay. All right, so here it is. This is the portal that goes over to the uh, island that's up here, all right? So let's head there now. Hush all! All right, this is where the last vault is. And in the same vein as the other one, you basically just wanna get up as high as possible because it's gonna be like up there. Oh, hi. Thanks. So let's just go up. And just keep going up. That's the name of the game. Just keep going up as high as you can go. All the ups you can get. And there we go. It's in there. Um, come, come with me. All right. And here we are. The very last, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> I thought there was one actually there. Uh, but this is the one that's in the Indigo Quarry and you can see where it is on the map, right there. Okay, so let's head into this one and finish this vault adventure. Bloop. Na 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 na, what's around here? So they all kind of start the same with this uh, little platform. All right, fine. Whip. Ah, da, 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 da. What's in here? Okay, there are no treasure pods in here like in the other one. What? What? Wait a minute. So do I have to unlock that in order to unlock? Oh, you have just got to be kidding me. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and unlock the last uh, upgrade that's gonna allow me to get this treasure cracker. And once I do that, then I might as well go back to the other vaults and clear up all the uh, pods there and see what they all have in them. I believe that if you create enough gadgets in the slime science lab, that's what allows you to unlock these new uh, treasure cracker levels. Or rather, it allows you the ability to unlock them and then you actually have to go pay to unlock them. So I'm just gonna go and create a bunch of gadgets I don't really need right now, but that I may need in the 
the future just so that I have them. So I'll meet back up with you in a bit. All right, so I am back and it is a different day, but I went ahead and I crafted about a hundred gadgets, or I would say exactly a hundred and one, but at crafting a hundred gadgets, I unlocked an achievement as well as unlocking the advanced treasure MK3, whatever it is. So I can finally go ahead and unlock all of those purple pods all over the world that I was not able to unlock. Hop on in here. And you see right there, now it's available here as my backpack upgrade. So Poiches, gonna go ahead and do that. So now that I've gotten that unlocked, I'm gonna head back to the first secret vault that's over near the dry reef, and I will catch up with you when I get there. All right, let's go in here and start unlocking some shit. Um, also, if I sound um, quiet or farther away or something like that, it's because it is very late. And I'm just trying not to make too much noise because of my neighbors. All right, let's start. Let's start over here. See what kind of things are in here. Is it just riches? Oh, it is riches. Oh, I was not expecting gold plorts. I was not expecting it to be actual treasure. Well, taking gold, don't mind if I dold. Give me this. Are you going to be more of the same? Are you going to give me rubies and gems? Oh, God. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I am just so happy. <laughs> Especially consider the fact that I dropped a bunch of gold ports like an idiot. All right, here we go. So let's just do this. Okay, let them do their thing. Oh my god, oh, it's just, oh, oh, you just have to admire the beauty, oh my god. Can you imagine if you just actually had, like, some kind of, some kind of structure where you just had gold shooting out of every orifice? One more. There you go. Yay! Give me all the plorts. Oh, shit. I can only carry a hundred. Hi guys, I know what you're all about. I know what you're up to and I'm ready for you. Boop. And boop. Okay, you happy now? Hey, hey, stop it. Okay, so that's a hundred. There were more than that in here, was there not? So I have to actually go back home and then come back. Go ba do ba do do. Or are these going to be other things? Oh wow, all of you are still in here and angry again. Why? <laughs> all right, I guess I'll, I'll be back after I'm done dropping all my stiff. I try to discover. Uh oh. I'll be forever blur. Oh, baby, please give some of these plorts to me. All right, I think I'm done in this one. On to vault number two. Nope. Now, I will say it's kind of annoying that I can't carry just an infinite number of gold ports. It's like such a, you know, a rare resource and such a, a valuable commodity that, oh, it's this one. Okay, I hadn't even gone in here yet. Let me drop all this stuff. But it just seems um, to me, I, I wouldn't call it an oversight. It just seems like that could have been a different decision that was made so that when you finally got to the point where you got to these vaults, you could just, uh, you know, collect as much of everything as you wanted to collect. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? I know you don't think that's all you're gonna give me. Let me do this, because I didn't learn my lesson last time. I thought this was gonna, like, open something cool, but I guess not. Alright, well. 
I don't know what that was all about. Weird. Weird that this one would not have anything in it. Unless I'm missing something, I don't know. Maybe I am. You know what would be cool? If like this was a golden slime um, thing and I could shoot it into that and then that would open something magical. But it doesn't look like I'm getting the magic I want today. So here we go to the last vault. Open sesame seeds. Open all of you. Run around and collect you all. Excuse me. And get you guys in the centre. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Let's watch this. Ah. So sweet! Alright, so I'm back home, and as you can see, I've got all of my gold plorts tucked safely away in this silo, and I will sell them when I feel it is a good time, depending on how things are going on the plort market. So let's go check that out. Let's see where we're at. Oh, 359 per gold plort and rising. Okay, I feel like the, the highest I've seen it go was like 500 something. So maybe I'll wait until it passes the 500 point before I sell. Um, but anyway, you know, it's pretty easy to make like money in this game regardless. Especially if you have tons of different uh, slime and everything like I do. Hi guys, you guys are so cute, but I haven't been feeding you. I'm sorry. I'll feed you just to get rid of these hens. Ah, oh, there you go. You're so happy. Uh, and in one of my next episodes, I'm going to explain this guy. <laughs> gonna explain how this happened, but not today. So I will see you in the next episode when I do something that I don't know yet because uh, I don't like to plan ahead what I'm gonna do. No, I, I like things to happen naturally. So naturally, Beatrix and I will catch you on the flip side of the far, far range.